available in a 2019 Mitsubishi Triton, it's the VRX top spec model. This was spec'd out as the boss's ute, so officially you'll be the first owner. It's done 6,700 kilometers. This is a beautiful ute, red with the custom black package. It's got the black 20 inch alloy wheels. It's got the wide body flares. It's got a nudge bar and the black sports bar. It's also got blacked out bumpers and grill and running boards. Being the top spec model, it's got the leather faced interior. It's got heated front seats, it's got electric driver's seat, it's got keyless entry, which means you can walk up with the key in your pocket, just press the button and the doors will unlock or lock. Uh, it also has push button start, so you can just keep the key in your pocket, you never have to touch it. Because you're still the first owner, you'll be eligible for the 10 year warranty, you'll get the balance of that 10 years from when it was first registered, which was late 2019. Right, where do I start? So this has got the six speaker stereo system with the two little tweeters. It's got your seven inch touch screen. Uh, we've got your stereo there obviously, AM, FM. You can plug in for, um, for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Smart phone compatible. Um, you've got the voice activated hands-free calling. With the buttons here on the steering wheel as well. Also buttons for the stereo to control that dual climate control air conditioning so you can adjust the temperature um, either side up or down for whatever you desire there's an HDMI input down the bottom here plus two USBs and the two in the back you've also got wireless Bluetooth streaming so you can stream music from your phone straight out through the speakers it's got the powered mirrors they retract if you need to get through a tight space or also when you lock the car they will retract also so you can also always tell when the car's locked. It's got the auto sensing wipers, they'll come on when it starts raining. It's got the auto lights, they'll come on when it uh, gets dark. The media unit doubles as the reversing camera. And you'll see it's also got the uh, multi around view camera. So that'll show you exactly what's around the outside of the vehicle as you're reversing, turning around. This is the double cab model, so you've got a full size rear seat here. Very comfortable once again. Nice little armrest with a couple of cup holders here. Two USB points. And the rear air circulators blows the air conditioning into the back. Let's go and have a look in the back. So it's got the black sports bar. Lockable hardly. Liner. Let's go for a drive. So it drives great. It's got five star safety, that's the ANCAP safety rating. That means it's been through uh, actual crash testing to get that top level rating. Uh, it also means it's got all the airbags and all the other bits and pieces. It's got uh, hill, hill descent control, so you can push a button when you're going down an incline and it will basically take over and uh, manage the brakes for you to get you down safely. It's also got forward crash mitigation so if you're about to hit something in a, in a frontal crash it'll apply the brakes if you don't and hopefully stop you from hitting that thing. It's got the six speed automatic gearbox with pedal shift so you can chop down if you need to. It's a 2.4 litre diesel turbo, 135 kilowatts. It's got cruise control on the steering wheel here. It's also got an adjustable speed limiter. It's got lane departure warning, so if you're not indicating and you start drifting across the lane, it'll let you know. It's also got the blind spot warning, so it'll tell you when something's in your blind spot behind you. This is the four-wheel drive model. The little four-wheel drive changer is down by the gear here. Uh, it'll allow you to change into four-wheel drive at up to 100 kilometers an hour if need be. 
if you suddenly hit gravel or a slippery surface of some kind. It also has the different four-wheel drive modes that um, make it easier to drive on things like snow or gravel or rock. It has the rear cross traffic warning that's uh, quite useful. If you're backing out of a car park, it'll tell you if something, uh, if a car is about to cross your path and you can back into it. Right, here we are back at Mitsubishi. Open seven days, top of Cameron Road. Happy driving.